Well, if I hear, hear any objections, I guess we'll get going. We're starting to see a pretty good crowd here. So um, I'll just start out with a, just a quick welcome. I wanna thank everybody for joining us tonight. Certainly a welcome to our um, admitted students. We're so happy to have you here. And certainly to our special guest, Mayor Sheehan, thanks so much for joining us. Um, I am just going to introduce, I think to get us started, we're gonna have a quick video. It's sort of a broad overview, just to get everybody a little bit of a sense of what the Albany area has to offer. And then we're gonna spend most of the time hearing a little bit um, from our guests and our sort of Albany Law community about what we think it'll be helpful for you to know. Um, but then really we wanna hear from you and let you hear, you know, tell us what it is you wanna know and happily, hopefully have a great engaging conversation. So we're gonna play a, a little video. I think it's roughly 10 minutes long. Uh, and then after that, it might even be a little less than that. And then after that, we'll get right into the conversation. So welcome, welcome. It's pretty short, the video. Oh, yep, our, our video is only three minutes long. Oh, well, 322, well then. but. Then let's have three minutes of video, please. No problem, on the way. <laughs> And here we go, here we go. Welcome to Albany Law School, the only law school in New York's capital, a city steeped in history and culture. At the heart of the student experience is our 54 acre shared Midtown campus. Walkways and green spaces connect Albany Law School with the Sage Colleges, Albany Medical College, and Albany College of Pharmacy and Health Sciences. Together, the schools attract students from across the country and around the world whose diverse interests and backgrounds enrich the intellectual and social environment for all. Every day, students use the fitness center, the athletic fields, and the gym. Our majestic 1928 building has been upgraded with the latest technology and is home to one of the country's great law libraries. As the seat of government, Albany is a nexus of power and influence. New York's governor, Andrew Cuomo, an Albany Law School alumnus is located here, as are dozens of state agencies and its legislature. Within walking distance is New York's highest court, as well as the state's appellate division, the Supreme Court, and federal district court. The Empire State Plaza's distinct architecture carves Albany's skyline. Here you'll find the Capitol Building, the Egg Performing Arts Center, the New York State Museum, the Justice Building, and more. An underground concourse connects all these buildings and features food courts and retail shops. The Capital Region also has a thriving private sector driven by the health and finance fields, tech firms, startups, advocacy groups, and dozens of law firms with alumni eager to hire our graduates. Albany caters to the lifestyle of its students. After all, there are more than 15 colleges in the Capital Region. Whether you like city, suburban, or rural living, Albany accommodates all lifestyles, theater, sports, museums, outdoor activities. The region offers something for everyone. Albany, the capital of New York State, is the hub of the capital region, which includes nearby cities of Troy, Schenectady, and Saratoga Springs, creating one of the largest urban areas in New York. Students often walk to the eclectic Lark Street area after class, marked by historic brownstones and cobblestone streets. Here you find cafes, nightclubs, diverse restaurants, art galleries, and one-of-a-kind shops. Lark Street is the backdrop for many music-driven events throughout the year, including Art on Lark and Lark Fest. Or take a study break at Washington Park, Located across from the Albany Medical Center, Albany Law School is surrounded by eateries, pubs, hotels, and affordable places to live. It offers respite from the bustle of a major metropolis, providing the environment to study the law while presenting opportunities to experience a New York Minute. Come see what we have to offer. Contact an admissions representative today.
Thanks, Ben, for queuing up that video. So I always love seeing that video. It, I've, as someone who's born and raised in the Capital District, it really does sort of, uh, I think, really give a great synopsis and a really good look at everything that we have to offer. Um, but today, I want to say a warm welcome to all of our current students that are with us. And I know that they're going to enjoy having a great conversation with you. Um, so I think to kick off the conversation, I'm just going to turn it over to our Dean and President, Alicia Willette. So thanks, Dean Willett. Am I unmuted? Can you hear me? Okay, good. Um, hi, everybody. Uh, it's nice to see you. Uh, welcome, especially to our Albany Law Bound uh, prospective students. We are really, really excited to welcome you um, tonight, but more importantly, to welcome you on campus uh, in the fall when we're, when we're back, and we're very much hoping that that, that will be the case, um, and it will be in, in some way um, that we, we will be here for you. And we're excited to um, give you the, the opportunity to ask us questions. We've got some current students with us. Uh, uh, I'm a, I've been living in Albany for a long time. The mayor's been living in Albany for a long time. Uh, we've got lots of folks here who are going to be able to address your questions about living and learning in Albany. So my primary task tonight um, is to introduce uh, my friend and my uh, former law school classmate from the great class, Albany Law School class of 1994, uh, the mayor of Albany, uh, Kathy Shan. Mayor Shan was elected in, uh, when was it? I had my notes, but now I've forgotten. Um, she's in her second term. Two, in, in 2004, she was elected in 2013 and, and became mayor in 2014. Um, she has dedicated her administration to creating a city of opportunity, um, leading a, a commitment to equity and responsive government in a way that, that few other mayors have. We are very lucky to have Mayor Sheehan running our great city. Um, she is responsive. Uh, to community needs, and that includes diverse community voices. She's an energetic champion of a renaissance that's taking place in Albany and is working to revitalize all of Albany's many, many neighborhoods. The city is, is full of really interesting spots, each with a character of its own. Mayor Sheehan is, an, uh, is, is um, a good friend to the law school, and we are so proud to call her one of our own on so many levels. She is a, a, mem a valued member of the community. She's a member of our board of trustees, and she is regularly present at the law school. Um, so uh, with that, uh, I'll turn it over to Mayor Kathy Sheehan. Welcome, Mayor. Thank you, and uh, thank you so much for that very kind introduction. Uh, I remember so fondly my days at Albany Law School, and the dean was the editor of the Law Review uh, when I was on it, and she was an incredible leader then, and it's not surprising to me um, that she is leading the law school now and doing just such an incredible job of leading, it, especially during these really difficult times, with compassion, but also, you know, with a firm hand and, and, and a willingness to listen, but also to act and make sure that students have the resources that they need, um, that uh, professors have the resources that they need to uh, continue the incredible ed education that happens at Albany Law School. You know, Albany Law School really formed who I am today. It's like a family. I, I it's difficult to describe the, this sort of special quality that uh, exists at Albany Law School where you feel as though um, your professors, your fellow students, the staff are invested in your success and in your ability to accomplish the goals that you set for yourself. Uh, I am also an unabashed um, promoter of the city of Albany and the entire capital region. Uh, I am not from here. I moved here after college for a job and I just fell in love because this is a place that not only is historic, that has incredible architecture and beauty, 
but it's also a region that thrives in so many ways, whether it's the incredible recreational opportunities that exist here in a short drive away, um, the ability to uh, explore different uh, parks and cultural institutions, and the the real incredible, I think, um, sense of community that exists here. Um, the dean mentioned that Albany is a city of neighborhoods, and it really is. You know, when people talk about Albany, oftentimes they're thinking about the capital. But for those of us who live here, we're thinking about our very unique neighborhoods. And one of the great opportunities that Albany Law students have is to interact. Um, on so many different levels with policymakers, with the cutting edge of what's happening, whether it's in um, healthcare medicine, whether or health, um, healthcare law, um, whether it's uh, startups. Uh, we have an incredible um, College of Nanoscale Science and Engineering that is cranking out patents. And so, no, really, no matter what your interest is, there is a, a, a piece of that here in the city of Albany and in the capital region. And there is a great sense of pride in the region for Albany Law School. And Albany Law students and opportunities to work with them are something that is really sought out, whether it's uh, to do internships um, or for job opportunities. And so there is this, this real sense that uh, we've got this great asset right here in the capital region and uh, many, many businesses, law firms, uh, uh, government uh, entities take advantage of it. Uh, I had the pleasure last week of being on a Zoom call, a Zoom class, uh, with a group of students who had spent the semester looking at challenges with uh, vacant buildings um, and, and um, uh, abandoned buildings in the city of Albany. We were their classroom and they designed some policy and advocacy um, solutions and, and really had the opportunity to think deeply about the history and what caused abandonment in some um, of our lower income neighborhoods and, and real steps that we can take to start to change the trajectory of those neighborhoods. And so I think that that was such a unique experience for them and they have the ability to see that work uh, be put into practice. And so we have so many different ways that we interact with students at Albany Law School that I think when you come here, you're gonna immediately feel like you have always been here and that you're part of this community. And it is a great place to learn. It is a great place to live. And I'm so happy to see all of the accepted students here. I wanna congratulate you. And I know that um, you are in really great hands and that you're going to have an incredible experience that is going to set you on a road and a path to really accomplish whatever it is that you want to accomplish. Uh, I really look at my days and what I learned and, and the thing that Albany Law School really ingrained in me was that it taught me how to think and in, in very constructive ways. It gave me very... Um, solid tools that I could use. And, and I have followed a, a very um, different path than I think I ever expected when I started at Albany Law School. And I have had a successful career in the private sector uh, in, in a law firm. I've had a successful career with a publicly traded medical device manufacturer as their vice president and general counsel. And here I am in my second term uh, in public service. So all of that uh, happened I believe because of the solid foundation that Albany Law School gave me. So with that, Alicia, I'll turn it back over to you because I'm sure that uh, the accepted students are also interested in hearing from someone a bit younger than me who, who's at law, Albany Law School now. I, I'm sure they are, but why don't we give them a chance if any of our accepted students has any questions for the mayor, um, if you're brave enough, you can raise your hand or, or put a question in chat. Uh, and we'll give you a minute. Do you have any questions? This is a really extraordinary opportunity to talk to the mayor of a great city and uh, want to make sure you, you get that opportunity. Are we seeing any? Maybe not. 
So during the course of, of the, the uh, evening, if you do have questions, don't be shy. Uh, put them in, in chat. We'll read them for you. Oh, here we, here we got something. Um, ben or someone, could you read it? I'm, I'm, I'm on an iPad, which you're seeing I'm not doing as well tonight as I usually do. I've moved my station. Sure, sure. No problem at all. Um, we're actually getting a question in from Cody uh, McKenna, McEnany, I think, Ingram. Um, hi, Mayor Sheenan. Thanks for being on tonight. Does the City of Albany ever offer any legal internship opportunities? That's a great question, and I'm going to guess that it's McEnany. Um, we have some very well-known McEnany's in town, so I'm going to You, can, you can tell I'm not from Albany that, proper. Right? Um, I just got my Ancestry.com back too, and I'm, you know, shockingly 88% Irish. So, um, but uh, in any event, we 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 do. We have uh, a, a internship programs. We have a corporation counsel's office, and they uh, started, uh, I think, a couple of years ago, taking interns from Albany Law School and giving them the opportunity to see what we do in a corporation counsel's office. Uh, there are also opportunities in law firms. When I was at Albany Law School, I uh, interned at the Department of Environmental Conservation. Uh, I thought I wanted to be an environmental lawyer, and then I did that internship and decided I didn't want to be an environmental lawyer, but I had the opportunity to do that. And so there are lots of opportunities uh, within the city. I think, you know, I, I would... I, I can't think of an area of law where you wouldn't be able to find the opportunity to to have an internship and get some um, experience and exposure so that you can explore your interests as while you're still a law student. I'm German by heritage, so I don't know those <laughs> Irish names. Um, I actually did have one that I wanted to ask uh, the mayor quickly. Um, if she would just say she's been um, leading the city for a couple of terms now, just what are some of her favorite events in and around Albany, favorite times of the year? I mean, we got, unfortunately, we can't exactly go out and do everything right now, but stuff like the Valley Cats or Saratoga Race Course, or what are just what are her, some of her favorite things to do? You know, I do think that uh, there is such diversity in what's available here. Um, you know, if you uh, are the type of person that de-stresses by getting in a kayak and paddling, well, you know, the Hudson River is here, so there's that. Um, and, you know, there are also incredible opportunities to um, engage in, in all kinds of outdoor activities. Um, I, I like to skate at either uh, Swinburne Park in the winter, um, which is a, a rink that we have here, or you can skate at the plaza. But we also have all kinds of really fun events. Um, the springtime here is beautiful. So, you know, we have Tulip Festival, um, and then we really roll into a whole series of various events. We do, uh, if you're here in the summer, we do a free concert series down on the river. Uh, called Alive at Five. There's also a concert series that happens on the Empire State Plaza. So there's lots of live music, lots of uh, restaurants where you can sit outside um, and, you know, all kinds of opportunities. The, the, the cultural life here is one of the things that really attracted me to Albany. I moved here out of college, as I said, for a job and uh, I went down to Washington Park, which was featured um, in the video, but what it wasn't featured in the video is that Washington Park provides free theater um, in the summer, and the, the quality of the productions rivals anything that you'll see uh, on any professional stage anywhere in the country. And I thought, you know, any city that cares enough about the arts to provide this incredible asset and this incredible um, theater for free uh, in its park is a really special place. And I think that that tells you a lot about Albany and about who we are and about the fact that this is a place that really cares. And we did have another one coming here from the chat from Joel Barron. Um, could you explain a little bit about the revitalization of Albany that you mentioned and what sort of projects are currently underway? That's a great question. So we are really seeing a lot of redevelopment, particularly in our downtown. You know, our downtown was historically uh, office buildings and, and state offices and 
law firms and insurance companies. And so as the need for office space um, has really shifted and changed, uh, we have seen a lot of those buildings converted into residential. And so we are literally creating a new neighborhood in our downtown. And uh, right now everything's on pause, but uh, we have a, about $78 million worth of renovations that are happening just along Pearl Street in our downtown, which has, you know, a number of restaurants and nightclubs, as well as um, new residential. Uh, I'm so excited about it that I moved downtown. Uh, my husband and I renovated an old um, townhouse that was literally, um, it was literally falling apart. It was quite the project. Um, but I, I live downtown and we also are going to be taking a, um, uh, an exit ramp from 787, which is a highway that runs along the eastern edge of the city uh, along the Hudson River. And we're going to take that out of commission and turn it into a linear park. So it'll be a park that you can access from downtown. Um, it'll have all kinds of activities on it, uh, uh, vendors, uh, events that will happen on it. And it takes you right over to the river um, and to a, a large park that's uh, along the river. So lots of really exciting projects ha happening. And it's not just in our downtown, it's really throughout um, the area where the law school is, is totally different than it looked like when the Dean and I went to law school there. <laughs> and it's really been transformed. So uh, we've seen a lot of investment in the city. This is a really stable economy and a growing economy. Uh, very, very strong um, with respect to uh, healthcare, uh, as well as startups, as well as uh, a lot of uh, investment happening throughout the capital region. So notwithstanding the challenges that we're having right now, uh, we really had, uh, outside of New York City, the strongest economy in New York State. Um, and, uh, you know, there's, there's that, that investment and enthusiasm is still here and we'll, we'll be back. I have plenty more questions, but I'm going to defer to uh, Dean Willette and uh, some of the other things we do have to get to. Right. Well, we, we do want to um, bring in uh, some of our students. Um, we have with us our student ambassadors, and, and we're going to start off. I'm going to introduce Nick Wall, who is just a terrific student uh, who I met uh, when he first arrived at Albany Law School. Um, I'll let him tell the story, but uh, it's it's been a it's been a great relationship ever since. How about that, right, Nick? <laughs> yeah, thanks, Dean. Um, I just want to take uh, two seconds here to to thank um, Dean Millette and um, Mayor Sheehan for all the stuff that you've been doing for this whole COVID crisis and everything with leadership um, and decision making. It's been really inspiring. So I just wanted to take a second to thank you both. Um, this is I'm going to kind of move into the frequently asked questions. Um, portion here um, and I'm going to introduce each of the other student ambassadors and then I'll tell my story about how um, I moved into Albany. Um, but I'm just going to kind of call on somebody, um, one of the student ambassadors, and you can say who you are, what year you are, um, and where you came from. So uh, Kayla, you want to start? My voice. Hi everyone, my name is Kayla Potter. I am from Binghamton, New York but I've actually lived in the Albany area now for seven years, I think it is. So I absolutely adore Albany. I would echo everything the mayor said because it's so true. And I am a 3L, so almost done with my time at Albany Law. Awesome, thanks. Um, Dee, what, why don't you say next? Okay, sorry, I had to unmute myself. Hi, I'm Deirdre Machia. I am a 2L. I'm in, I went to Syracuse University for undergrad, and I'm originally from uh, South Plainfield, New Jersey, which is like central New Jersey. Thanks, Dee. Libby? Hi, guys. My name is Elizabeth Goldman. Everyone knows me as Libby. Um, I am from Poughkeepsie, New York. I went to UAlbany for undergrad, so this is my sixth year in Albany, and I'm a 2L. Um... Matthew Skinner. Hi, everybody. Uh, I am Matt Skinner. Um, I'm from Rochester area, Finger Lakes. I uh, went to college out there, and I'm a 1L, about to finish my first year. All right, thanks. And uh, Jenna, how about you? Hi, everyone. So I'm Jenna. Um, I'm just finishing out my first year 
I'm originally from Brooklyn and then relocated for a good portion of my life to the Catskills area, so I'm familiar with the area. And I went to Fordham University for my undergrads in the city. So. Awesome, thanks. Um, so, um, as Dimolek said, so um, the first thing that we kind of get often as far as frequently asked questions is what it's like moving to Albany from out of state. I know that a lot of people um, came from out of state. I actually personally moved from Wisconsin. So uh, any of my Midwest fans out there, um, I drove the 16 hours in one sitting. It was brutal, but um, I showed up. And the first day that I showed up, I actually had never, I'd actually never seen Albany Law School before this too. So it was kind of cool to see the virtual video. And if you haven't seen the virtual tour yet, I would recommend checking that out. Um, but I showed up and the very first day I was led into the law school. And as I was led into the law school, um, just got done with a 16 hour drive. And as I'm walking by, um, one of the admissions workers lets me in and is like, oh, you're an admitted student? You're, you know, why don't you come in, walk around, see how cool it is here. And as we were doing that, um, Dean Ouellette walked by and the admissions um, worker grabbed Dean Ouellette and was like, why don't you, hey, do you wanna come meet one of the new admitted students? Um, he's starting in a couple of days. And Dean Ouellette was looked me up and down and said, um, have you ever thought about playing rugby? And for me, that was it. I knew I was in the right spot. I've been playing rugby for years and I've been doing it since. So, um, and it, for me, immediately, it was awesome. I felt at home and I felt like um, I was welcomed right away from walking in. Um, and I think that that's something that's a really cool aspect about Albany Law School, that um, moving to Albany, it was very easy for me. I came from a smaller city, so going to another kind of smaller city, um, but you still have that city feel and everything. Um, and I think that that was a really, really cool part about moving to Albany. Um, the next fre most frequently asked question we kind of get is what it's like moving to Albany from um, the Capital Region area. So I think Jenna, um, you said you've been living here for a little while. You want to take that one? Sure. So I'm a little bit of a weird case because I actually live at home right now. I have that privilege where I get to live at home and commute. So I commute about 35, 30 to 35 minutes to school. I'm just south of Albany. Um, I'm pretty much in between Albany and the Hunter and Wyndham Ski Mountains that we have over here. So for me, it's a little bit about commuting, but um, I definitely learned more about the Albany community after returning from undergrad because I really acclimated into the community. Um, I worked for a year before law school in Albany, so I had the opportunity to kind of learn about a lot of the features that Mayor Sheehan's already mentioned or that we saw in the video in regards to um, some of the events hosted um, in the summer I go to they do a park playhouse series with free plays in the park and I frequent those with my family which are great um, and even just being at Albany Law I really kind of learned a lot about the community right in the immediate vicinity so um, it took a little time like anything else but um, I think comparatively to living in the city which I did in undergrads it's it's a really easy transition to kind of acclimate into the community it still has a somewhat like small town, hometown feel while being in a city center. Um, so I think that's one of the great benefits of the Albany community. Thanks, Jenna. Um, and another one that we kind of get often is what it's like moving from another part of the state of New York too. So um, Kayla, do you want to kind of answer that one? Sure. So I actually grew up in a pretty small town. I wasn't even from Binghamton, I was from one of the outside surrounding more rural areas. So for me, I really didn't know what to expect when I had moved to Albany. I thought it would be like a good happy medium in between a more rural community and a city. And I found it to be exactly that. Albany is a great happy medium, whether you're coming from an extremely large city or a very rural community, such as the one that I was used to. It really does provide a happy medium and a a really smooth adjustment is what I found. Thanks, Kayla. Um, another question we get often is, so when you're moving, um, is there anything useful to um, have when you move here, um, kind of have when you move in? Um, Dee, do you want to answer that one? Sure. Um, 
I think just like having like a basic like foundation for the area and like I didn't moving like here and I had like an interesting story where I moved into an apartment and and I, I hadn't like explored the area and then after um talking to like a lot of people who had gone to college here I found a better place to live and like now I'm living with two people from law school and it's like the best situation um so I have a car and I drive here, but I would say like a car isn't necessary to answer like the opposite end of your question. Um, Nick lives like 10 houses down from me and we live in the Helderberg community and Libby is my roommate and um, it's pretty accessible walking. So I don't know like a specific item or like thing I would have, like a car is like good, but I, but I would echo that it's not necessary like in this area, our neighborhood. I'm sure we're gonna go into like the area and like safety and stuff, but like I love where we live and it's like a great walking neighborhood. So I would just say a car is necessary. Yeah, and I'm, you know, I drove my car out here. I have a car, but I spend most of my time walking um, to and from the school. Again, you know, she said that I live in a pretty solid neighborhood that's less than a mile away from the, from the campus. So walking is always a great option around here. Um, so the next question that I had on here was, what is the top advice you would give to a new law student looking for housing in Albany? Um, and I figured I would actually kick this to Dee's roommate, Libby, who has lived in Albany for a while. So Libby. Okay, so I actually have like a couple things. I would definitely say when you're looking for housing, try to, if you want a roommate, I would definitely try to live with another student. Like a law student would obviously be best, but there are so many colleges here. There's so many options for students. Um, but I, it's definitely helpful living with students, um, living with Dee and our other roommate is so helpful to me because they kind of keep me on track. Last year, I lived alone and I kind of, I don't know, it's not like I felt behind, but I definitely feel like I'm more on top of my things when I see my roommates getting stuff done too. Um, but with that being said, when you are looking for another student roommate, just like there are certain places in Albany that's more like you Albany housing and those streets can get a little noisy. So stay away from those streets. It, it can be a little distracting, I would say. Um, but our area is a Helderberg area and it's pretty residential. It's really nice. Um, we always feel pretty safe here. There are a lot of students and it's just really great being in walking distance. Just at the end of our street, there's, um, I, I, don't, I think it's like an elementary school. And then there's like a whole strip of restaurants and stuff and it's just like the perfect location. So anything around here, I think would be really good. And then also kind of to add of, of useful things, these kind of tie into each other. Um, winter coats are a big one. Rain boots, winter boots, and like light jackets and t-shirts because chances are you're going to need all of them in one day. <laughs> it's, it's, you get all the, all the weather here. So I think it would be useful to have all of those. Thanks, Libby. Um, and also, um, Mayor Sheehan, you know, Dean Millette, or any of the other, you know, students on here as well, too, if you have something to add, feel free to jump in, unmute yourself. Um, if you think that you can add something to whatever we're talking about, please feel free. Um, kind of, so the next thing that um, we have kind of goes along with that, you know, living off campus or moving from um, kind of a different area. Um, so Kayla, you want to talk about what parking and transportation is kind of like with Albany Law School? Sure. So I have actually done both. I've had a car and I have taken the bus. So I will say first, if you don't have a car, we have the CDTA system, which is our bus system here. It's amazing. I did it for two years going to and from work. I actually worked down at the Capitol at the assembly. So it ended up being so much easier to just take the bus. So it was actually really great. I can say we have a great system here if you don't have a car. In terms of if you do have a car, parking is right on campus at the law school. You, if you walk to you, some of those students I know don't even end up parking their car there, but if you do, there's plenty of parking at the law school. I'll also say in terms of downtown Albany, we have a great parking system as well. There's actually an app on your phone. I think it's called Park Albany and there's thousands of spots right in downtown Albany. You put all your information on your app and then it's the easiest way to park ever. So we have a really good system here in Albany, I'll definitely say that. Cool, thanks. Um, and also kind of just rolling back a little bit um, to what Libby was talking about, about the, um, you know, you know, 
good place to find um, housing and all of that stuff. Definitely, definitely, definitely use the Facebook page. I don't know if all of you are on that yet or not, um, but I had a success story from the Facebook page. Again, moving from Wisconsin, I had no idea what was going on with the, um, what, where to live in Albany, where to go, any of those types of things, or where to find roommates. Um, so I think that the Facebook page for me, especially, was great about getting in contact with students that have that same mentality, um, like Libby was talking about, and then also kind of, you know, connecting with you to find good areas that all of you um, should take a look at. So if you're not on the Facebook page yet, I would recommend doing that. Um, so the next question that I kind of had um, is a little bit different from the living housing situation, um, but it's what is your favorite activity to participate while living in Albany? And I think uh, Matthew Skinner would be a good one to answer this one. Well, okay. Uh, for some reason, it wasn't unmuting me. Um, well, primarily being a student, obviously. Uh, secondly, I play rugby with Nick, um, hanging out with them, all of our collective friends, uh, going out to various restaurants and bars on the weekends, hanging out. Um, something that I find kind of fun, it's not in Albany, um, it's in Troy, is the Troy's farmer, Troy Farmer's Market. Uh, it's not just a market, there's a lot going on there, a lot of fun music, uh, vendors, a whole bunch of different stuff. Um, that's a fun activity. I'm not sure what they're going to be doing uh, now. Um, but and then right now, I've been really enjoying just kind of spending time in uh, Washington Park going for walks, not just, you know, sitting and hanging out, but just getting out, getting some fresh air. Um, but yeah, that's primarily it for me. Oh, fishing too, fishing and hiking. I've been doing a lot of fishing um, on the weekends, uh, getting out. Uh, it, Albany goes from urban to suburban to rural really quickly. And you can find a lot of great small little places to get out of the city too, if you're looking for that. I would just add um, from Matt being from the area and kind of trekking a lot of the capital region, Catskill Mountain area, that there's a lot of awesome activities depending on where you're from and what you like to do. Um, I mean, I know I come from a big like boating and fishing family and just north of Albany, you have Saratoga, which has a lake, also has shopping, restaurants, culture. There's a horse race track, there's a casino there. You can go a little further to Queensbury, which has a small ski mountain. You have Lake George there, which is amazing. There's a beach and tons of shopping. It's awesome in the spring, summer, fall. It's kind of a seasonal community. And then you could still go southbound too, more in my direction. There's lots of hiking and skiing, et cetera. So there's, there's tons of opportunity to be active if you want to. And then besides that, I mean, it's, it's a state capital. We have malls, we have movie theaters, et cetera. Um, and there's lots, lots of community opportunity. I don't spend as much time as maybe Nick or some of the other students do in Albany just because I commute, but I do have friends who live in Albany and there's tons of great restaurants and, you know, places to go out and listen to live music, bookstores and coffee shops, whatever kind of your interest, great gyms. So there's tons of opportunity to kind of suit anyone's interest in the area and give yourself a creative release from classwork. Yeah, and kind of following up with that too, um, I like that um, Mayor Sheehan was talking about like the live music and the performances and stuff like that. Like I'm really big on um, live music. So for me, like I go down to the hollow and I'll catch, you know, a smaller band that nobody's ever heard of kind of playing one night and pop in and hear them and listen to them play. But then there's also like the Times Union had, you know, Selena Gomez this last year. So, you know, you get a little bit of everything um, as far as the spectrum for the music goes. Um, and I know that there's some really incredible hiking spots around too. Um, I also snowboard. I embarrassingly haven't gone anywhere since I've started law school because it hasn't been exactly the greatest winter for it. But I know that there's some really awesome um, snowboarding, skiing, and, and hiking spots and stuff around here as well too. So um, kind of moving along here. The next question I had um, is... Um, any favorite restaurants or um, bars or things to do on the weekend? And I think Libby would be good a good place to start with that. Okay, so I have a couple favorite restaurants here. I really like brunch. Um, our friend group does brunch a lot. Um, Cafe Madison, my favorite. 
um, but there's also Iron Gate and there's a ton of others. Anything on Lark Street is really fun. It's just a really cool street. There's so much to do on it. It was highlighted in the video early on, so I won't go um, too much about that. But then did, you asked about on the weekends too. Sorry. Okay. So on the weekends, there's a lot of just iconic events that happen in Albany that really get you going to a lot of the local restaurants as well. So Lark Fest on Lark Street, I always end up at tons of restaurants throughout the day there. Um, like Nick said, there's like a lot of music events and that's a big one for that too. Um, Pearl Palooza, they basically shut down Pearl Street and you go in and out of the restaurants there too. Um, so those are really just like, I think iconic Albany events that really get me like into the like local restaurants and stuff. So I think that's really great. Um, and then recovery room is right across the street from the school and the hospital. And they do like this happy hour bar bites menu. And it's like really good prices, really good snacks. And it's just so easy if you're in the library and you just want to grab a quick bite to eat, you just sneak over there for a little bit. And it's a nice relaxing break, but walking distance, it's right across the parking lot. That's definitely a big favorite of mine. Mayor Sheehan, you got you got a favorite restaurant? See, mayors get in trouble when they talk about favorite restaurants, but I will say that uh, there is just so much opportunity. I mean, I used to live in the Helderberg neighborhood, so um, you know we could walk to the fountain if you want pizza. Um, you know, that was pretty much all I could afford when I was in law school. Um, now my husband and I uh, like to go to Navona. Uh, which is right there in that neighborhood. Uh, and then they're, they're just, I mean, I love the hollow. The hollow not only has a great music scene, but they have really good food. Um, and it's just really, really friendly. So um, I, I think one of the things that people should know is that I believe, at, uh, I know you flashed up a lot of fun facts about Albany, but I think we have the most restaurants per capita of any state capital in the country. Um, there was a, the governor talked about it on one of his uh, uh, press, daily press calls about um, meeting, he was out walking on Lark Street because he lives here in Albany um, at the mansion and he was walking on Lark Street and he met a couple from, uh, the, from Queens who had driven up, this was a couple weeks ago, uh, who drove all the way to Albany just to get Thai food. So, um, uh, you know, they were, I guess, a little stir crazy, but uh, they, they wanted to come up here because um, there was a particular restaurant uh, that they went to on Lark Street that had great Thai food. So you, you, you will not want for uh, good food and good places to eat at every price level. Awesome. Thanks for that. Um, I guess another question that we kind of get pretty often, um, shifting gears a little bit, um, is, is Albany safe? Um, like the overall safety of neighborhoods, um, especially for females who are looking to live within walking distance of the campus um, and just kind of around the area of Albany Law School. Um, and I thought, Dee, since you were talking about um, where you lived before, you wanna talk about that? Yeah, I would just like say again, like I think talking to people who live here already and like utilizing the class page and like maybe talking to you Albany students if you can use them as a resource is like the best thing and like the admissions office can be a great facilitator there. And I wish I would have used that resource resource more upon coming here, but I was really lucky to find people that were from the area when I started school here. Um, but I would say Albany is like any city, like just, you know, you always have to be careful and neighborhoods quickly change. But for the most part, like I've lived in Syracuse and Albany is like by far like the best place I've lived. I've never felt unsafe here. I feel super safe in our neighborhood. I I would walk at any time. Like if, like I have a car, but if, if I wanted to, I would I would feel comfortable. Um, and like we're in walking distance to restaurants and bars, and I don't feel uncomfortable walking um, around there. And I just I just love this area. I didn't think I would like upon coming here. I came here because I love the school, and then falling in love with the area was secondary. And I definitely see myself living and working here. And it is like 100% safe in in my experience. Just to add to that, also. Um... Safety at the school was a big thing for me and all of the door, like we have um, like student IDs and all of the doors except the main one are card access only. Um, and if you, like if you come in the main door that isn't card access, there's the public safety desk is right there. So visitors would have to check in anyway. 
So even at the school, you feel really safe and you definitely notice the public safety around the area as well, around like the campus area. The school also has a blue light system, which I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with from your undergraduate institutions. Uh, they go all the way from throughout the whole University Heights school community area um, back to the parking lot where you would park as a 1L if you drive and get parking. And at night, you could also always, you know, check in with a security guard if you feel uncomfortable. I know that was something offered to me during, you know, finals or late nights in the library that if I felt uncomfortable for whatever reason, um, a security guard could drive me to my car or, you know, um, escort me, whatever was necessary. So there is, there is a community effort to kind of monitor and police for each other to make everyone feel safe in the community no matter what time, day of night. Yeah, and I think um, another one too that um, I don't know if Kayla talked about it or not, but the transportation with the bus system that we have, um, like the shuttle system that the school offers too, um, through the security um, office as well, where I think it's within two mile radius, you can call like a taxi from the main office or from the main security desk, um, and then they'll take you right to your home too. So if it is one of those nights where you're there until, you know, 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock with the library closing, um, you know, you can actually get a taxi through the security as well. Um, so I don't, I personally also have felt very safe um, and I've done walking to and from school um, everywhere. And I mean, the whole New Scotland Avenue, um, I felt great walking up and down to school. So um, for me, I think safety was an important part of it too. Um, kind of the last question that I, I had on my list was just overall the neighborhood around Albany Law School. Um, and we kind of had talked about that a little bit um, with the Helderberg community where Dee, me and Libby live. Um, and, you know, Mayor Sheehan had talked about how all the area around the, um, you know, hospital, um, is starting to kind of get revitalized and look really nice. Um, and so I think, you know, the neighborhood around is great. Um, I actually even just recently the other day got a thing in the mail that talked about all the um, like community events that were gonna happen before the shutdown um, in the Helderberg neighborhood with like free movie night and, you know, hiking and, you know, walking around Washington Park, stuff like that. Um, so I think overall the, the neighborhood around is great. Um, and also, I did want to just highlight this too, because, um, you know, there's been a lot of stuff going on in the chat, but um, people have been kind of, you know, um, Amy linked the Facebook page, there was the tour linked by um, Ben as well. So, you know, just kind of make sure to take, take a look at that as well. Um, just kind of seeing some of those resources put in there. Um, but then, overall, I think, you know, Lad, I've I've covered all of the frequently asked questions that I had on my list. Um, so I'll kind of take it back all to right. you. All right. Well, thank you, Nick. And um, I, I wanted to just put a pitch in for the, the college suites, which uh, is another housing option, especially for those of you who are coming from out of town. So we have a, a large campus uh, that, that um, the law school is right next to the medical school, which is next to the pharmacy school, which is next to the stage colleges. And there is a, a group of suites uh, that, uh, that many of our students live in, especially in the first year that they choose to, to go live there. Um, and it's, it's, um, they're, nice. they're really nice. There's kitchens and everyone gets their own um, bedroom. Uh, and you can contact the admissions office to get the connections to, to the suites. Uh, with the suites, you just walk across a grassy lawn uh, to go back. And, and so for someone who's mo moving here who doesn't have an apartment, has a housing, and that, that can be a really good option. Or, and some of our students live there all three years or four years. So they, they love the suites. The suites are limited to graduate students. So it's, you get pharmacy students and, and medical students and law students living together. Um, so I just I wanted to give a shout out to those. Uh, and and um, I wanted to open the uh, conversation up for any further questions uh, that we may have um, for any of our students or me or uh, our um, wonderful student ambassadors. Does anyone have any other question? Oh, Dean, we did have one in the chat that got uh, 
glossed over because we were excited to get to other things. Everybody wanted to know about uh, favorite landmarks uh, in Albany. We have plenty of them. Uh, just what are some of the, everybody's favorite landmarks? That's it's a great question. I'm going to say the egg because it's the thing that defines us in the skyline. Um, but how about uh, uh, some of the student ambassadors? Why don't you chime in? Do you have a favorite landmark? I like the Corning Tower. I don't know if anyone's familiar with that, but um, I had never been in it before, even though I'm from the area until last summer. Um, I went there for a networking event from my undergraduate alma mater. And it's actually super awesome. You can go up and there's basically windows around one whole floor where you can see skyline. I think you could see all the way to like the next state if, if I'm if I'm wrong someone correct me but it's it's quite the skyline view it's definitely the tallest building I think in the in the upstate New York region as far as I'm aware and um, it's really beautiful it's connected to the underground concourse so all the government agency buildings etc but um, it's it's a really cool space and it's open to the public to go up and visit and kind of enjoy the Catskill Mountain area and Albany area views which is pretty awesome. Yeah, and I should probably say for those who don't know about the, what the egg is, the egg is a music uh, and arts venue that's it's part of the big complex of, of buildings that makes up our, our sort of state plaza. Uh, and there, there's great uh, music and, and theater and, and shows there. Um, but it's it's known for its, its um, shape and many, many uh, graduates of Albany Law School have taken the bar exam in the egg. So it's not, that's not always their favorite place. Um, so a question about uh, Gilderland in the chat. Uh, is that a, a good place to live? Gilderland's great, it's close. Um, uh, commuting, one of the things about Albany that I love, so I lived as a law student, I lived, it, it, ha it happened, you're hearing a lot about the Heldeberg neighborhood, uh, and the mayor and I actually both lived there when we were law students. Um, and then, uh, and I had kids when I was in law school, um, and, and eventually we decided we wanted to move out um, and we moved to a town called Slingerlands. It's maybe six miles to my house. I have lots of land and wood and woods and, and um, it's very, it's, it's suburban, but, but borders on, on rural and uh, Gilderland is sort of similar. It's, it's maybe, um, I, I would say the same, five, five to eight miles, depending on where you are um, uh, from the law school. And it's, it's, um, it's got lots of, of uh, the, the malls there. There's lots of stuff going on. There's also suburban neighborhoods and there's um, townhouses. And, and so Gilderland's a great place to live. Any other questions? Well, I, hi, Dean Willett. I, I thought I would give a quick plug for Troy, being a, oh, a please do. Troy girl born and raised. Um, there's a lot of great um, revitalization happening in Troy too. And there's a lot of great community for uh, young professionals and sort of entrepreneurs and that sort of thing. They do have a great farmer's market that you heard about. They also have a summer um, concert series on the river called Rockin' on the River, um, where some of there's the great breweries and restaurants, uh, boutique shops, things like that, and lots of affordable uh, housing. So uh, I do have to give the shameless plug because I am born and raised in Troy, but I choose to live in the sort of very edge of Troy, which is actually borderline rural as the dean is saying it's easy to make that transition in the capital district you can be urban suburban and rural in a 20 minute drive if you want to so there's a little bit more of a commute it's maybe 20 ish minutes away and it is down 787 that highway that the mayor referenced um but traffic um is very well very is probably an overkill right traffic is traffic but it's somewhat predictable in, in the capital district. So um, even if you're not into the traffic or you're concerned about them, the, the sort of rush hours are pretty predictable. So as long as you choose to commute off of those peak, you know, sort of windows, um, there's really not much traffic at all. And it's really easy to get around uh, everywhere. So I would say if you're, you know, wondering, um, you can also check out Troy. Uh, Troy, yeah, Troy is, is great, and, and the farmer's market, um, which was mentioned, is, is really fabulous there. Um, there's a lot going on here. There's no question about it. Uh, and the, the commute is very, it is, it's, it's something I, it's, I love to brag to my friends who are in New York City. 
um, or my sister who lives in New Jersey and commutes into New York City and it takes her an hour each way. Uh, my, my commute is um, on a bad day, 12 minutes, which really is not too bad at all. Um, so uh, any other questions? It, it, we did um, see one. So I'm more used to a more rural area and I've got a car I'll be bringing to the capital region with me. Any suggestions on towns? Um, sure, yeah. I mean, I, 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 and, and we can throw it out. Um, some of the uh, across the river stuff, um, East Greenbush has some really nice sort of rural places. Uh, there's a town called, called Warriesville, uh, which is just past Del Mar and um, close and uh, just gorgeous. The Heldeberg Escarpment is, is a mountain. There's this fabulous park called Thatcher Park with hiking and gorgeous views and, and uh, that the little town there is, is beautiful and, and, and pretty rural. I mean, people have animals and, and farms and, uh, and that, that would be, you know, a 20 to 30 minute drive into school, if that. Um, what, uh, so other, do other folks have, have suggestions on more rural areas that they would? Um, I was uh, just doing some genealogy and family research, history research out in uh, Rensselaerville. Um, I don't know, that took about 35 minutes. I don't know if you want to live that far, but that's a small little place. I liked it. Oh, it was kind of magical out in Rensselaerville. We, we had a professor, Professor Moore, she's no longer with us, but she, she's retired, but she, um, she lived out there. It's beautiful. Yeah. What got me was how close the buildings are to the road. Um, it's, I don't know, I felt like I stepped back 150 years in a good way, not like a, you know, everything's kind of, um, how do I say? It? It's like uh, almost like stepping back into a, I don't know, like a the Genesee Country Museum uh, back in the Rochester area kind of comes to mind. Uh, it was pretty nice out there. Uh, Dean, will I, and all of our students and everybody here, oh, we got one more question that just came in. Uh, so we'll ask, what do each of the current students, well, about rent, so maybe we don't have to get into the exact number of how much your rent is, but maybe give us a range of uh, some of these different uh, rents for some of the people who are maybe in the Heldebergs. I'll, I can say something. I think Nick was just about to, sorry. Um, I would say like the range is really affordable. Like I've lived in other, like in Syracuse, like I said, in like New Jersey, which is like uber expensive so i i would say the range is about like mid 400s to like 600s which i think is really affordable so that, that's the range i would give yeah and um kind of going off that too so i was really worried um when i first started looking at like when i was going to move out here um because again all i'd ever heard was how expensive new york is compared to everywhere and growing up in wisconsin you know that was kind of a fear here and it coming out here but um i like i said i found housing that was really affordable um and just like anywhere i mean you can find something you know super cheap and affordable or you can find something that's fully furnished and it's got all the bells and whistles and um you know it's really expensive so it really just kind of depends on what you're looking for um, but you'll be able to find it all within walking distance and right around um albany law school so I think rent also really varies on if you're someone who's going to utilize um, some of the recommendations that that some of the current students gave on having roommates who are also students or if you're someone who maybe um, is a later returning to education student or has a family you're relocating to the area and you're looking you know to kind of have a private place to yourself I know I mentioned in the chat that there's some great areas in like Del Mar and Bethlehem I live just below like that area Glenla area there's tons of apartment complexes and kind of like townhouses and condo style living and that's all up to your discretion on what you're looking for um as Dee mentioned you can find something really affordable in an apartment style if you're looking for something a little bit bigger with a little more space you obviously can act from there but um from what i know of friends who live in the albany area who are from the city or other places they found the rent to be very affordable Comparatively, of course, if you're right by the hospital, since that's a newly renovated area, I know a couple people live there, it's a little more expensive in like the brand new condos they just put in and whatnot, but there's great housing at every price point in this area because there's so many unique neighborhoods in Albany. 
Yeah, I was, I was uh, just to give a, a little bit of a comparison, um, we measure the, the cost of attendance, uh, which is that we do a survey and ask our students how much are they paying for, for food and for rent. Uh, and, and ours is the lowest of, of the New York schools. So uh, it, you know, it, it, it is, there is definitely affordable housing in the area. There's also luxury housing in the area, the, the new condos by the um, hospital and by the park, and, the, and then there's beautiful brownstones. So depending on what you're looking for, uh, you, you can, you can uh, have a lot of choices. Um, is there any, any further, we're starting to run out of time, but uh, are, are, Ben, or how are we doing? Is, are there any more questions or? Um, no, no particular questions. I think it might be a good opportunity though to just maybe hear from Mayor Sheehan and the students one more time about maybe one thing they'd like to express to some of the incoming students. And, uh, you know, these are tough times and we're all trying to deal with them in our own ways, how maybe has the mayor, um, what would be some words of advice from her and then from our students as well, what advice could they give? Um, well, I'll say that, you know, these are unprecedented times and never in a million years did I think that I would have to um, lead a city through um, the, the challenges that we're seeing. I would not want to be any place else. Uh, this is a city and a community that has come together, that uh, has demonstrated a generosity and a willingness to help their fellow neighbors and people uh, all across the city, whether it's providing food, access to health care, um, helping out one another in, in their various small businesses. Uh, it, it, it's, it's a very special place. And I think that when I look at all of the challenges that we have and the challenges that remain ahead, that um, this is the place to be. And I think of the community that I have seen at Albany Law School as a member of the Board of Trustees and the Herculean task of responding to what has resulted in a very different school year than anybody imagined and the care and compassion and success um, that the law school has had, I think is a testament to how integrally it's linked with this community and how important it is and it, how, how much a part of um, the strengths that we have here in Albany um, are, are, are seen in the law school and in what they're doing. So um, I, I wouldn't wanna be anywhere else because I'm really proud of how not only our residents and uh, you know the community has come together, but how our institutions that are here have demonstrated that they really are part of the community. They're not separate. They're not some you know um, castle on a hill. Uh, they are part of the community, and and uh, it's 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 a very special place. Thanks so much, Mayor Sheehan. Um, I, unless you have any closing remarks, Dean Willett, I'm just gonna go ahead and, and thank everybody, yourself included, and uh, the mayor, all of our wonderful current students, and especially our, our newest members of our Albany Law family. Um, you know, thanks for taking some time to come out with us tonight. I hope that this is the start of some conversations and um, we've given you some links to you know, talk to our student ambassadors and the rest of us, certainly on the website, or you can always just contact the admissions office um, if you'd like to continue these conversations and we'll put you in touch with whoever you need. So I wanna say good evening to everybody and thanks so much for joining us. Thank you. Thanks students. Thanks everybody. Thank you guys. And please feel free to reach out. Thanks mayor. Thanks mayor Sheehan. It's great to see you again.